first let's add two vectors on the force table. Uh, let's start by looking at one of the masses. This is a hundred grams and in newtons that's 0.98 newtons so we can think of this for today's purposes as one newton. The mass holders are half a newton. So let me first find the components of vector A which will be three newtons at 120 degrees. First thing I'll do is put a pulley here at 120 degrees hang one of the strings over the pulley and I'll put a holder, there's half a newton and another half newton and two newtons alright so now we're using this string we're applying a force of three newtons at an angle of 120 degrees. Now in order to balance it we know 120 degrees is in the quadrant where y is positive and x is negative so I'll have to balance it with forces in the opposite direction. So I'll put a pulley over here at zero and another pulley over here at 270 degrees. Put a holder on there. A holder on here. Now, in order to balance the force table, we would like to wind up with all three of the strings pointing at the exact center, so it's clear I have a little too much weight over here in the X direction. So, I'll replace that Newton with, that's a little better. Uh, perhaps we need just a few more. And now it looks like this string needs to go that way just a little. So we'll put just a little over, more over here. And that looks just about right. All three of the strings are pointed exactly at the center. So now let's add up our balancing components. In the X direction, we're balancing with 1.45 Newtons. In the plus direction, and in the Y direction, we're balancing with 2.55 Newtons in the negative direction. Now the actual components of the original force are of course in the opposite directions. Alright, now let's do another force. For that we'll need to remove all of this. The second force that we're going to use is 2 newtons at 220 degrees. So Put a pulley at 220 degrees. Uh, 
and we'll put the holder is half a Newton there's another half Newton and one more Newton makes two now 220 degrees is in the quadrant where X is negative and Y is negative so we'll have to balance with forces at the plus Y axis and the plus X axis now you notice that the balance is not affected if I turn this which is a very important observation that is the laws of physics do not depend on your choice of coordinates all right let's go ahead and balance this let's see we need a little there we need a little here that's too much over here that's not quite enough that's not quite enough that's too much and that looks just about right all three of the strings are pointing exactly at the center doesn't really matter what the ring is doing it's just there to hold everything together alright so our two Newtons at 220 degrees are being balanced by 1.25 Newtons in the positive Y direction and 1.5 Newtons in the positive X direction all right, if force A is balanced by 1.45 newtons in the X direction, then the component of A is minus 1.45 newtons, and the balancing force in the Y direction was minus 2.55, so the component is plus 2.55. For B, same thing, the component is in the opposite direction of the balancing force so it's minus 1.5 newtons and minus 1.25 newtons so if we add the components we get minus 2.95 newtons and plus 1.30 newtons so now we have added the components of forces A and B and we want to see if the sum of those components is equal to the sum of the original forces now the sum of the X components is minus 2.95 Newtons so let's put that here at 180 degrees that's the negative X direction and we'll need one, two newtons, 2.5 newtons, 2.7, 2.9, and 2.95. The sum of the Y components is plus 1.3. That'll be here at the positive Y axis. There's a half. There's one. 1.2 and 1.3 now first thing we want to do is find the force that balances these and the easiest way to do that is simply to take the third string and pull it until I find a place where it can balance the other two and it looks to me like it has to be right about there at about 
25 degrees. Uh, let's see, we're using the inner row of numbers, so that'll be 335 degrees right here. So we'll put a pulley right here. And uh, let's see, there's one and a half newtons, two and a half newtons, three and a half, that's a little too much. Four, not quite enough, 4.2. And let's see, I might need to adjust this angle just slightly. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's call that 334 degrees. With a weight of 3.2 Newtons. Now, let's replace the sum of the X and Y components with the two original forces. And the two original forces were 3 newtons, 120 degrees, and 2 newtons, at 220 degrees. <clears throat> and if we pull the pin, it looks like it's pretty well balanced. I would say 3.2 newtons at 336 degrees. So with a little bit of error for probably accounted for by friction in the pulleys because this will move around a little bit without coming back to the original spot exactly. The force that balances the sum of the components equals the force that balances the original two vectors. So we can conclude that adding the components of the vectors is the same thing as adding the vectors. For the final part of the experiment we're going to choose three arbitrary forces, balance them with a fourth, and show that they must add to zero. So let's see, I'll just to make it easy to remember, I'll do three newtons at 300 degrees. I'll do two newtons, no, two and a half newtons at 250 degrees and what the heck how about 2 newtons at 200 degrees now in order to balance them I'll grasp the fourth string move it around until all of these strings appear to point at the center. It looks like eh, about 79 degrees is where I need the fourth pulley. Let me put 
put that there. And let's see. There's two and a half newtons, not nearly enough. Three and a half, still not enough. Four and a half, and we're getting close. Five, not enough. Let's try six. Ah, we're getting close. All right. Now, let's see. 6.2. We're getting very close. How about 6.3? All right. I believe that looks pretty good. Looks like the angle could be mm, as much as low as 75 degrees possibly as high as 80 degrees. Let's say a theta 4 could be anywhere between 75 and 80 degrees and the mass could be I can take off 10 degrees and it looks a little too small. I can add 10 degrees that's definitely too much so it looks like, uh, or grams I mean, plus or minus uh, 10 grams, that is plus or minus 0.1 newtons. Uh, and you should find that within those limits of error, the sum of all four of these forces equals zero.